On a recent expedition, geobiologist and National Geographic explorer Jeffrey Marlowe traveled with a team to the island nation of Vanuatu. I was there as the chief scientist of an expedition that went to examine Vanuatu's Marum crater. We were there for this. This is the crater. It's about a kilometer across, 500 meters deep. And at the very bottom of it, in this pit of roiling lava, is the world's most active lava lake. It wasn't a great place to be for a very long time, but we were there just long enough to get our critical samples. Marlow was investigating how quickly microbial colonization happens on newly formed rock. We certainly wouldn't imagine that there is life in the lava lake itself, just way too hot for anything to happen. But the instant the rock cools to below about 120 degrees Celsius, it's considered a habitable environment. Microorganisms, or microbes, are microscopic organisms, tiny little forms of life that amazingly can survive inside the volcano. While Jeffrey gathered microbial samples, tech explorer and filmmaker Sam Coastman was working to create never-before-seen visuals of Abram Volcano's Marum Crater. We were able to take a series of thousands of photographs around the top of the crater and then process those using a specialized software to render the first of its kind 3D model of the volcano from inside. We were fortunate in that we got the footage we were looking for and unfortunate in the fact that we lost our drones. They uh, fell to their demise, some into the lava and others just from the incredible amount of heat uh, and unstable air. All around us, lava was spewing, sometimes going over the top of our heads, uh, raining down upon us. We needed to get samples from the very bottom to understand how microbes can survive. So we descended down the cliff, went as close to the edge of the lava lake as we dared. Our planet is home to more than 500 active volcanoes. Some volcanoes, like those in Hawaii, form when a tectonic plate moves over a hot spot and magma breaks through cracks in the crust. But the vast majority of volcanoes occur along the boundaries where tectonic plates meet. The most volatile region is the Ring of Fire, a geological fault belt that rims the Pacific Ocean and holds roughly 75% of the Earth's active volcanoes including where Jeffrey and Sam are conducting their research. You have sulfur dioxide and toxic gases that are superheated and just an incredible radiant heat that exceeds 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit standing right next to it. To conduct their research, the team must travel down into the caldera, a bowl-shaped crater that forms after a volcanic eruption. Within the caldera as a whole, there's certainly life. Coating the walls as you go down on some of the surfaces down at the bottom, almost certainly there's a high microbial constituency. This is a place where the Earth is forming. This is how rocks come to be. They are formed by volcanoes. And everywhere on the surface of the planet, microbes inhabit these rocks. In addition to helping scientists gain a better understanding of volcanic activity, data from the expedition will help further the understanding of microbial life in extreme environments.